Hello YouTube. Today I'm YouTube. Hello YouTube. Today I'm doing um, get ready kind of thingy. Because I can do my makeup on camera. Because I don't know what I'm going to be doing yet, but we'll see. So I'm going to start by toning my skin because you should do that before you do your makeup. And in my case, they should also get rid of any crap on my face. Then you should moisturize your face. I have a new moisturizer today, and it's the number seven essential moisture date cream. Now, when you're like moisturizing or like adding any kind of stuff to your face, make sure that you kind of massage it in, not like rub it in, like that you're not dragging your skin. Because that's not very good, is it? But if you drag your skin, you're gonna cause yourself premature wrinkles. And you don't want that. Unless that's the look that you're going for. Go for it, then, girl. I'm also gonna apply some light cream because I'm feeling all the moisture today. And this is the Botanics The Power of Plants Hydrating Eye Cream. 80% organic with nourishing rose hip. Rose hip, I don't even, don't even know what that is. But I'm putting it under my eyes. And what are you putting on eye cream? You should make sure you put it on top of your lid as well. I heard that somewhere, so I'm doing it. So that's all my moisture on my face. Now I'm just gonna wait for it to sink in. You should give it like, get five minutes for it to sink in. Cause if you try to apply foundation on top of it, it's just gonna like slide off. It's not gonna slide off straight away. It's gonna slide off eventually. So just give it some time. I'm just gonna chill now. Listen to some Arcade Fire. Maybe it plays a little bit. So first I'm going to put on some of these Nivea Men Sensitive Post Shield Balm. Obviously everyone and their mother have been talking about this. Um, this chick, Nikki Tutorials, uh, mentioned it in one of her videos. Well, mentioned it in one of her videos. She talks about it all the time. Said that it's got glycerin in it, which makes things like stick to your face. So it's a great primer. And I've been using it, and like, I can't say it's like a, an amazing primer, but it's alright. I mean, I'm clearly using it, so that's good. And I'm just going to massage it into my face until it gets tacky. And at that point, that's when you can start putting stuff on. Um, I'm not putting it too close to my eyes, because it does smell like very manly so it probably has some very strong fragrance in it and that's not good for your eyes right. I'm gonna use the number seven stay perfect foundation now this foundation is not as full coverage as I would like it to be so I usually put on some of this and then I go over the areas that need like more coverage and I put on a shush your mush I put on some of the beautifully matte foundation because they're like the same shade because they're uh, both by number seven. I'm just gonna buff this into my face using these swirling motions. And yeah, as you can see, it's, it gives a pretty good co good coverage, but it doesn't cover up everything. Oh, it actually, does cover up pretty well, but it's not like heavy, like really full coverage. And sometimes when I have like a lot of scarring or like really bad sits, when you had a talk take away, <laughs> and then my skin's like, what, girl? And then I do need to go over it with the beautifully matte foundation, which is really like full coverage. Oh man, I hate like having zits like here on my face because then I can't put highlighter on because highlighter will like accentuate it. It like drives me crazy. I'm just like, why can't you show up my butt somewhere else? Why well, don't have to put my makeup on? drives me crazy. Now, with this foundation, you have to keep in mind that it's like very dewy. It's like good for dry skin. And by dewy, in this case, it means greasy. So you have to set it with a powder. I mean, you don't have to, but I would highly suggest it. Now we're gonna conceal. Now, usually under my eyes, I like to use the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. Mine's in the shade NW15. And it's still way too dark for me, mate. Like, MAC needs to sort out their light shades. I mean, it's not that dark, okay? You're gonna be like, that's not dark. But, 
I like to use this for highlighting under my eyes and I would prefer if it was a little bit lighter and now consider that like I'm not even that pale like there are people who are paler than me like what do they do like where do they get their concealers and I have to use like literally whites because that's not cute uh, you know what when I'm blending out with my left hand I always feel so weird like so crippled I know, I pull the cutest faces when putting on my makeup. I just rewatched the footage from before. And me putting on my eye cream was the cutest thing ever. So I just blend this out with my fingers. And now we're gonna set it. So, I'm gonna take my number seven. Oh, there's an eyelash on it. Number seven, translucent perfect light press powder. And I'm gonna take a clean powder puff. And I'm gonna take whatever's left in there, put it under my eyes, cause like I've kind of almost used it up. But I'm still in denial, and I don't want to go buy new powder. I mean, I'd rather do it after I get paid, cause I'd rather have crazy under eye than have no food for two weeks. Okay, um, that's all set. I usually like to take it like all the way up here, just because it's, the spider is quite light, so. It highlights your under eye, and it looks looks like and it looks all like Kim K highlighted under eye. Can you see the glow? I know you can. And then if I do have any kind of like blemishes, something that needs a lot of coverage, I'm gonna take my powder puff and Mac Studio Fix in the shade NW13 and like go over it so like right here and that terrible is it I kind of press it in like that that's all pressed in and then I'm gonna take a powder brush this is the elf powder brush it's my favorite powder brush like of all the brushes I have ever tried in my life high end or low end whatever this brush is the tits man Pat it in, pat it in, girl, pat it in. And this is how I achieve my flawless, beautiful skin. Anyway, so for my contouring, I usually like to use this brush, which is like a random eBay brush, but it's really good. Or then the, eh, where are you? Like my, like face brush thing is so full, I can never find anything in there. Let me pull this out. No, I may do like favorite brushes video, actually, I'm gonna do that. I'm not going to try to find it now. And for my contour, I like to use this Beauty UK like contouring powder. And I was quite surprised this is quite a good product. We went shopping with my housemate and I was looking for a new contouring powder. And I saw this and I was like, oh, that's quite cool toned. That might work. And because most of the like, bronzes are like contouring products that you can find in a drugstore. Or not even just in a drugstore, like a really warm toned. I hate that. And I saw this, I was like, mm, mm. and it is actually quite good, and it's super cheap, it's literally like, okay, I have no idea, but it's like four pounds or something. Let me just carry on contouring, I'm just kind of like, putting it in hollows of my cheeks and like, just contouring the crap out of my face, because otherwise I'd look like a potato. Actually, potato probably has more contours on my face. Self love you, self love. So I don't know what I want to do with my eyes, but I know I want to wear this lip liner and I also know I still have a smoothie to drink. So I'm going to do my lips last, but so first let's do my eyes. It's going to be fun. It is. This is the lipstick I want to wear today. It's the Lancome Rouge in Love in the shade. I don't know what the shade is, but it's like this nice like pink colour. So I don't want to go too heavy on the eyes because I'm going to work and I don't want to look like too crazy. So my eyelids aren't like crazy oily or anything. I don't usually have to use a primer, so I'm not going to use it because I just can't be bothered. Um, and so I'm going to start with um, one of these eyeshadows. I'm probably just going to like mix them. Go like do 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 do. Now some of these are not very well pigmented and some of them are like this one is really pigmented. So if you do use that one, tap with the excess because otherwise. Oh, that I just let me do the YouTube thing where they like hold the mirror. <laughs> Otherwise, that's like not gonna look cute. So I'm just putting it like in the outer ed end of my eye, 
I think I tapped off too much. <laughs> and kind of just like putting it in the crease. Now I didn't tap off enough. Thing is, it's always easier to add on than to take away. So, just go light handed, girl. Like, you can always add more eyeshadow if you're not feeling it. Okay, okay. Mm -mm -mm. That's pretty good. I quite like that. You just want to create a shadow that's going to emphasize the contours of your eye. So, that's what I'm doing. No. So, when you're putting colors in your crease, you should usually use um, matte colors. Because if you use something that's shimmery, the light reflecting, well, the light reflecting feature of that is going to bring it out. So then it's going to make your eye look really flat. What's the point of that if you're trying to create like dimension, man? What's the point of that? So that's all good. I don't want to go like too heavy, but I do kind of want to add a bit to the outer corner. So I'm just taking a bit more of that just the brown, the really pigmented one, and just kind of like, you know, concentrating it in the corner. Mm -mm -mm. And I'm going to do the same the other eye. So, it's all done. And now, see, sometimes I think people think that they need like amazing blending brushes and things like that to do your makeup. And I do love some of my expensive brushes, but on like everyday basis, I do use these cheap ass eBay brushes. And honestly, like this one is from a set. There was about six of them, and they were one pound, including shipping. So there is no excuse to do your makeup badly. Like honestly, there isn't. So I'm just blending it out. It's all blended out. Don't, girl. Now I'm just taking a flat brush. This is a synthetic brush. Again, cheap ass eBay brush. And I'm using this L'Oreal Infallible color eyeshadow in Time Resist White. Which is basically like a champagne shimmery color. I'm usually not too crazy about these L'Oreal Infallible eyeshadows. Everyone's just like going crazy about them. Oh, but I'm not too crazy. But this one is quite nice. If you want it to be a bit more shimmery or if you want to uh, get more pigment out of it then mix it with water like spray your brush with some water but I don't want to go too crazy today as previously mentioned I'm going to work and I'm not going for the whole like drag queen look not today Satan not today okay okay I'm kind of just like putting it all over my lid now that's all over my lid. I'm taking the brush that I used earlier to blend out the eyeshadows. I've got to take it and just blend out the edges. Just so that there's not like a line of the champagne eyeshadow. So that it's nice and blended. Okay, it's blended, girl. Done. Dropping it like it's hot. So I usually like to do my eyeliner first, and then while it's drying, I can do my eyebrows. So let's do the eyeliner. <coughs> I'm currently using the number seven Stay Precise Liquid Liner. I don't think the liners are that amazing, but it's cruelty free. It's black. It's good. It's okay, and I get discount on it. <laughs> to be honest. Now it's gonna be fun. So. That's the eyeliner. I think I'm gonna do like a separate video on how I do my eyeliner. Cause this is not an accurate representation. Cause I don't usually just do it like floating like this with my arm floating in the air. It's pretty. So my camera has kindly cut out. What you missed out on was me finishing off my eyeliner, doing my eyebrows, doing my mascara and then sneezing and my mascara transferring on my under eye so what you need to do when that happens is wait for it to dry completely and then I like to take either a brush like this or like a flat synthetic brush taking my powder let's take the number seven one since it's running out and just running it across it because then it just crumbs off rather than just like getting smeared all around your face so I'm just 
going with the powder over it and voila it's all gone good as new as on the other eye uh, I know it's a cute face so that's all gone mascara's all gone it's not under my eyes anymore yay you can do the same with like eyeliner or anywhere you get transferred it. you get transferred and things like that so I'm sorry my camera cut out because I think eyebrows is like a thing that needs its own video. You're not missing out. It's all gonna happen. But yeah, I'm still sorry about that. My oh, damn camera. So what I'm gonna do now, I finished my smoothie and I'm gonna do my lips now. So I'm using the number seven lip liner, lip pencil in the shade. Oh no, it's the pink one. I think it was like, like, it's called like raspberry or something. It doesn't actually say, oh there it is, raspberry. Now the sim number seven lip liners, oh maybe I should stop talking while I'm doing this. They are quite creamy, so they won't last that long because some of the hard ones simply do last longer. But they are really nice, they feel really nice in the lips. And they're quality free. So let me just line my lips. Yeah, because I can't talk while I'm doing that obviously. I think it's a quite good match, yeah. Yeah. So I think what I'm going to do is, because I want to add some colour to my face, I'm going to put on some blush. And I have one that kind of looks really similar to this lipstick. So after like two hours of looking for it, um, I found it and that's the MAC blusher in... Stubborn, so it's like a nice kind of pink darker colour. So I'm gonna use these this I'm gonna use this dual fibre brush by Real Techniques and I'm just gonna swirl it in, tap off the excess and then apply it. Now yeah. I like to go very light handed with this one because they're really pigmented. You know what? I don't know what to do with my hair, I'm just gonna put a tiara on. Pretty good work. Da -da, bam. Thank you for watching. Hopefully this was like somewhat helpful. I don't know. Maybe. Let me know. And I'll see you in my next video.